I am Kyle Hollenden and I am playing the part of Jimmy Smith. I have been a part of the arts since I was in middle school, I believe sixth grade. I did all the six middle school shows and I did all the high school shows. I think it's very important for our society to have that creative feel. I think it's very important to give back to the people who are trying to bring you the creative part of life. I am Kylie Schweikarth and I am playing the antagonist Mrs. Mears. The first musical I was in was Annie at ACT and I was, a, I was 11 years old and just this past year I moved to Jasper. Uh, for the theater department gives me more opportunities to do this kind of stuff. I have such a big personality and when I'm up on stage it allows me to just show that to others. My name is Piper Kaish and I am playing Millie. Theater is important to me. I mean it's pretty much my entire life. It's all that I've ever done. You know a lot of people, some do sports, some are really academic, some people like to read, um, and theater is just kind of my thing. It's what I've always done. Um, I love to sing and so that kind of formed my passion for acting. My name is Derek Schweikarth and I've been brought in to help out and help I guess formulate some of the set ideas for the show. I like to see the expressions on the, the kids faces uh, when they can uh, open a curtain and see a scene that is filled out on stage as opposed to just a few little pieces here and there. I am Ethel Pease and I get kidnapped in the beginning by Mrs. Mears. She's the antagonist of the play. These musicals have been a way of me expressing myself and really opening up to other people and the arts. It's just been something fun for me to do in my free time. We all come together to create this wonderful musical um, we all have fun doing it and we do our best we can. My name is Melanie Patterson and I just became involved in set because I was interested in being more involved with theater rather than just performing on the stage. I wanted to take it a step further and be more involved with how the background stuff works. I guess I was first involved just because you know, I was a little bit interested in it and so then I kind of did my first show and then I fell in love with it. I thought it was amazing. It gives them a sense of responsibility. Um, you know, that's the first thing. They, you know, there's obviously a deadline. And in to get that deadline, there are a set of things that they, they have to be done. Um, but on the flip side of it, there's that gratification and that, that that thing you see at the end is a job well done and it's kind of a pat on your own back so to speak when you can look back and say hey I did that and other people can look at that and say that's amazing. It's not like a book where you know you read and you see you see the words but you don't see the action but you know theater brings brings visual arts to life. I believe that what I'm doing now will set me up very well in the future because when you're in the arts programs here at the high school, you learn a lot of communication skills, whether that be improvisation and social cues from other people. So I feel that that will help me in the future to pick up on people's social cues and to communicate with others very well. It lets them be themselves. And I feel like that's very important because some people are afraid to show who they really are. I think that it's really important for people to support it, so I'm able to do this kind of thing because it's become something very special for me. And I think that it's also very special for me because I love seeing the audiences. I think it's really important that they support it so not only do they get to enjoy a show, but I also get to enjoy performing. People should come see it because it's going to be very good. I have a little something for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, the music and the history. There's a lot of dancing, there's tapping, complex songs and scenes, and it's going to be probably one of the best shows that we've ever done. It's in the top round, definitely up there. We really hope everyone can come out and see it. The show times are March 2nd and 3rd at 7 p.m. and March 5th at 2 p.m.